dreams about demons. You are not the only one to have woken up at midnight thrilled with deer of undefined horror caused by the evil that has recently materialized. Similar experiences have been faced by a lot of people, although differently. The feeling remains for some time as it is wild and not bearable at all. The dreamer way find ways to rescue himself and wakes up in an unusual manner but calming down seems difficult until he realizes it was just a dream. According to the interpretation of ancient books on dreams, such demons depict our personality that we generally require to overcome so that we are able to live in a better way. Such statements are justified by theories as well that were present during the ancient times. People in the ancient times considered that such apparitions lured people who do not have a normal sexuality. Mesopotamia's legends talk of Lilith, the body ailments and death's demon. She appears in the erotic dreams of men and women to load them with passions that are unnecessary. These apparitions during the Middle Ages were said to be demons named Succubus and Incubus. While Succubus was the female demon who lured men to have sexual dreams from a tender age, Incubus was the male demon who lured the females to have sexual dreams and erotic feelings right from the young age. There was a major belief in the Algonquin Indians who stated that the demon's dream is a state of mind wherein the soul if between the world of alive and dead. From this point, the vulnerability of people arises when the demon attack dreams are seen. The second theory states that there are those people who have inferior spirits who have committed sins and died and thus don't find peace after their death due to which they seek to enter another body to have their sentence served to quench their demonic thirst in some other way. As they lack a body, they attempt to possess one and the weaker spirits are attacked when they are in the weakest moment of their lives, while dreaming. There are certain modern theories like manifestations in relation to the situations in the life of the dream. For an instance, traumas, or certain depressive or negative situations of childhood may have a bad effect all through the adult life of the dreamer. Corruption, physical violence, abusive language, criminality, and even the natural disasters can lead to a lot of inner depression that causes dreams of demons. Tensions at the workplace, fights with friends, family, or spouse may also lead to demonic dreams. Such dreams appear in every individual's life and the frequency differs from an individual to another. It doesn't matter what the reason is, higher frequency of such dreams is related to the psychic emotional state and thus there's a requirement to heal or medically cure it. Dreaming of a demon may symbolizes temptations in thoughts and motivation of people that surround you, laziness, useless actions that may hurt in the end, selfish motives that lead you nowhere, struggling childhood and traumas or may mean lack of love from the loved one or parents. Dreaming of a demon means unpleasant events back at office, a feeling to do something else in your real life loss of something important, a wish to get rid of certain duties, unhappiness related to your career, taking decisions all by yourself and the requirement to adjust in all the circumstances, even in the most problematic ones. A dream is a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. The content and purpose of dreams are not fully understood, though they have been a topic of scientific speculation, as well as a subject of philosophical and religious interest, throughout recorded history. Dream interpretation is the attempt at drawing meaning from dreams and searching for an underlying message. The scientific study of dreams is called onirology. Dreams mainly occur in the rapid eye movement REM stage of sleep when brain activity is high and resembles that of being awake. 
REM sleep is revealed by continuous movements of the eyes during sleep. At times, dreams may occur during other stages of sleep. However, these dreams tend to be much less vivid or memorable. The length of a dream can vary, they may last for a few seconds, or approximately 20 to 30 minutes. People are more likely to remember the dream if they are awakened during the REM phase. The average person has 3 to 5 dreams per night, and some may have up to 7, however, most dreams are immediately or quickly forgotten. Dreams tend to last longer as the night progresses. During a full 8 hour night sleep, most dreams occur in the typical 2 hours of REM. Opinions about the meaning of dreams have varied and shifted through time and culture. Many endorse the Freudian theory of dreams, that dreams reveal insight into hidden desires and emotions. Other prominent theories include those suggesting that dreams assist in memory formation, problem solving, or simply are a product of random brain activation. The earliest recorded dreams were acquired from materials dating back approximately 5,000 years, in Mesopotamia, where they were documented on clay tablets. In the Greek and Roman periods, the people believed that dreams were direct messages from deities or deceased persons, and that they predicted the future. Some cultures practiced dream incubation with the intention of cultivating dreams that are of prophecy. Sigmund Freud, who developed the psychological discipline of psychoanalysis, wrote extensively about dream theories and their interpretations in the early 1900s. He explained dreams as manifestations of one's deepest desires and anxieties, often relating to repressed childhood memories or obsessions. Furthermore, he believed that virtually every dream topic, regardless of its content, represented the release of sexual tension. In the interpretation of dream, Freud developed a psychological technique to interpret dreams and devised a series of guidelines to understand the symbols and motifs that appear in our dreams. In modern times, dreams have been seen as a connection to the unconscious mind. They range from normal and ordinary to overly surreal and bizarre. Dreams can have varying natures, such as being frightening, exciting, magical, melancholic, adventurous, or sexual. The events in dreams are generally outside the control of the dreamer, with the exception of lucid dreaming, where the dreamer is self-aware. Dreams can at times make a creative thought occur to the person or give a sense of inspiration. Dream interpretation is the process of assigning meaning to dreams. In many ancient societies, such as those of Egypt and Greece, dreaming was considered a supernatural communication or a means of divine intervention, whose message could be interpreted by people with these associated spiritual powers. In modern times, various schools of psychology and neurobiology have offered theories about the meaning and purpose of dreams. Most people currently appear to interpret dream content according to the Freudian theory of dreams in countries, as found by a study conducted in the United States, India, and South Korea. People appear to believe dreams are particularly meaningful, they assign more meaning to dreams than to similar waking thoughts. For example, people report they would be more likely to cancel a trip they had planned that involved a plane flight if they dreamt of their plane crashing the night before than if they thought of their plane crashing the night before or the Department of Homeland Security issued a federal warning. However, people do not attribute equal importance to all dreams. People appear to use motivated reasoning when interpreting their dreams. They are more likely to view dreams confirming their waking beliefs and desires to be more meaningful than dreams that contradict their waking beliefs and desires. Why do we dream? 
there are several hypotheses and concepts as to why we dream. Are dreams merely part of the sleep cycle or do they serve some other purpose? Possible explanations for why we dream include To represent unconscious desires and wishes To interpret random signals from the brain and body during sleep To consolidate and process information gathered during the day To work as a form of psychotherapy from converging evidence and new research methodologies, researchers have speculated that dreaming is offline memory reprocessing, consolidates learning and memory tasks, is a subsystem of the waking default network, which is active during mind wandering and daydreaming. Dreaming could be seen as cognitive simulation of real life experiences participates in the development of cognitive capabilities is psychoanalytic dreams are highly meaningful reflections of unconscious mental functioning is a unique state of consciousness that incorporates three temporal dimensions experience of the present processing of the past and preparation for the future provides a psychological space where overwhelming contradictory, or highly complex notions can be brought together by the dreaming ego that would be unsettling while awake. This process serves the need for psychological balance and equilibrium. As with many things concerning the brain and unconscious thought, there is so much that remains unknown about dreaming. Dreams are difficult to study in a laboratory. As technology and new research techniques are developed, the understanding of dreams will continue to grow. Why are dreams hard to remember? Researchers estimate that 5 minutes after a dream, people have forgotten 50% of its content, increasing to 90% another 5 minutes later. Most dreams are entirely forgotten by the time someone wakes up. It is not known precisely why dreams are so hard to remember. However, there are several steps that people can take to improve their dream recall. These include Waking up naturally and not with an alarm Focusing on the dream as much as possible upon waking Writing down as much about the dream as possible upon waking making recording dreams a routine.